Here we are on the concluding part of Jurassic Park, the game. So, um, I can't remember where we got to. Oh, we just got the power back on in the uh, geothermal power plant, haven't we? Um, they're all pretty much together now uh, and working together as a team. The big guy, <coughs> that mercenary, he got the doors open for him, didn't he? But he died in the process, he got attacked. Uh, oh, yeah, and then they found another soldier, didn't they? Oh, the pilot, that was it. Q, uh, whatever his name was, decaf. They found him with eggs planted in him, <coughs> which I believe is that them dinosaurs with glowing eyes. Because I said straight away when when we saw them that I'd not seen them in the film or ever seen them as an actual species of dinosaur. So they might be some like hybrid or something like that. God knows. But anyway, yeah, I think it's them that's laid their eggs in him or whatever. So I think without further ado. Let's crack on with episode four, The Survivors. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes. What's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We were about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar is dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Right, what am I gonna do here? Um... Billy, listen, I get it. You're angry, but we need Laura alive. She's the only one here familiar with what we're dealing with. And what good does it do us if she keeps that intel to herself? Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, ah, I... shut it. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! Um. You are the bad guy. I saw that Oscar had changed his ways, but you become everything I thought he was, and you are about to add murderer to that list. Oh, come on! This isn't on me! It's time for her to take responsibility! Injun is the enemy here. They spoiled the island. They made these monsters. You can't make her pay for all that Injun has done. Maybe. Put down the knife. We need to work together, all of us. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. Now, so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got her. You just mark my words. 
She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Huh. Hey, right in a way. We can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? She should have told them about that dinosaur because she knew because she saw the holding pins further down in uh, episode three, and she said, "What did she said?" Uh, one, of, one of the guys said to her, "What do you know something about something? You're not telling us or something like that." And she went, "Oh no, no, just a thought." So she knew that the dinosaurs that should have been in that holding pen had escaped. You know what I mean? So she should have told them at that point. No, educated them to help so that they don't get frigging killed. Because back look at these new dinosaurs that are I don't see anything. quite dangerous. Maybe it's clear. They look like raptor sort of size and speed. But we're like poisonous frigging saliva. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Oh, so died and put him in charge anyway. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Excremento. <laughs> Some ganja leaves on floor, eh? Someone's been coming in here for a joint, haven't they? Must be joint room. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. Why did you have to say that window? <laughs> Just stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? That's a good idea, hon. Ah, oh, bless. She's like uh, trying to be her, her saviour sort of thing now. Even though she was pointing a gun at her earlier in game. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, uh, are you Jerry ready? now, is it? Didn't know we were now on first term basis. I guess we can give Yoder a few more minutes. Yeah. We can. But there's more to see. Locked. Lock of the turf? I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! <laughs> Ouchie! Flares. A flare kit. This might come in handy. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? 
sure you can't pick it. You seem to be a mass criminal lately. <coughs> about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. And it looks like it's locked. Wow. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. Why well, shouldn't I ask him if he's okay? What is he, some fucking rabid animal now? I'm gonna just watch two of his mates. Well, one of them's in front of him. Just watch his other mate, friggin' butchered, eating alive. <coughs> I think he's entitled to a, are you okay? I pick this lock. I bet you could. Not that I would know how. I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. <laughs> I don't think he'd be right bothered, love. I think that's one time he'd be actually pleased if you were able to do it. I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't <clears throat> breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ovip um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating. But these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So? Chickens will brood a large enough clutch, but not our dinosaurs. I've found post ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped usually destroyed or kicked into the bush I see wait it, We can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing anything could go wrong And you said you use frog DNA again? Frogs can be asexual. <coughs> can you hate when I'm <coughs> my throat feels like this when I've got cold. <coughs> Always feels like I've got frigging phlegm on my throat or something, but there's no out there. It's just so. <coughs> right, so what now? Um So if this whole trip was, like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished. Uh. Could I pick this lock? <coughs> Not that I would know how. I don't want to add breaking an entry well, that, onto my I dad's list lockers, of my criminal not tendencies. Lock. Lockers. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. <laughs> Nima, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. Good now. Like glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah. <coughs> like ojos del lobo. Dinosaur trying to date raper. Friggin' hell, they have evolved.
Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. Um, these Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt yeah. like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with the toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. So they're like Komodo dragons, and that's what Komodo dragons do. Theirs is more of a bacteria, though, than a toxin, I think, in the saliva. It then. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Oh, you probably Look, I know where his body is. Mate. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones. Understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are... Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find... The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we going to get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to... Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. They're coming through the vent! Holy shit! What we're gonna do? Oh, that did a lot. Oh. Today it's a weird looking thing, isn't it? Bonk. Going past the door. Oh, no, 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 Now I can't even see that third button. Get out of here. Get that crate open. Trippy bite. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll do that something. The airpin. Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! Yes, the hair tank. Are you stupid? It's the bloody air tank, lad. Get it! <clears throat> now pop the lock off. You know nothing. Boink. 
Oh, I didn't know I had to press all three of them. I thought I had to choose which one I'm going to eat. Yeah. Dunk. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. What the hell? I don't know, I fucking hate them bits, me. Absolutely hate them bits. It's like trying to do uh, walking in a straight line when you're pissed. It just constantly moves all over. But then on second go, it's nowhere near as wobbly, look. Again, just to make you get killed off the first try. Here you little fucker! Have one of them! Sound like cats? Guess I don't like light then. Boink! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Don't shut! Don't shut the gate after you, will you? Oh, I can't. He's still here. Yeah. Stop it, Ted. Don't look scared. Why does it sound like cats? Yeah. Right, Eddie up. Oh. Have a look and then do this round. <laughs> Won't even try to take that turn, I was trying to look. Sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. <clears throat> maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. Or we maybe they're just stalking you. We're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can hey, you read what's these? what's up, Doc? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. 
we're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, uh, don't we have just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any Brilliant. distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Maybe you might steal the plans. You little ruffian. Um. Wow. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. So these are the four different sections then, and we have to find out which one of them four sections we're in. Right, let's, uh, let's go with him first. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Part way down the corridor on the right. What's this? There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. A big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Well, that's it. Then I can't really see much else, can we? Can't see a goddamn thing down here. Don't let your night vision get away from you. You'll have to stare at a point down the corridor until your eyes adjust. Try to scan slowly with your eyes. <laughs> Try to scan slowly with your eyes. Oh. Oh, so you can't move. Right, that's it. If you move, you lose your, you lose your scam. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. There's I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. Right, so... And where is he? Is he to her right? Um... What should I be looking for, Doc? Large pipes, electrical boxes, so, tanks, ladders. Oh, even the direction of the corridor helps. There were Just a, keep looking. Two tanks on the right. There were a, a, a yellow pipe going across the roof that went into the ground. A ladder at the end. And what was that? Uh, oh, it's a dead end on the part way down. Right, so let's just have a look on here. Um, but I don't know where he is, which tunnel he's looking at. Um, I don't even know where to begin start with this. I really don't. It looks like actually why? Because if he's on that f that right and corridor, um, oh, they've all got that, haven't they? That right hand corridor must be where he is with the two round tanks, the pipe that goes all the way down and the ladder at the end. They're all the same, so it, with him it's uh, pointless because they're all... The, oh, apart from B, where the tanks are at the left and right at the end. So it's not B, we know it's not B. Right, let's see what one of us can do then. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, let's go to him then. He's on this side of one, right? So what's this up here? There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. Going down the left wall.
not going down the wall though, is it? It's just crossing the roof. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. A ladder on the right, about halfway, and right down at the end. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Two water tanks at end. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. So a T junction. I think most of them ended in a T junction, though, from what I saw. Oh, why did you do that? Well, we saw it all anyway. Did you know? So, the opposite side had had So, it's got it's not a I'm just going to cross this one off. Okay. I hope you're right. Because the ladder were on the left on it on A and on the other two it's right where it should be but they're both the same then they've got tanks at end they've got ladders halfway and at end and pipe crosses so it's down now onto her um, what she's got there's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. About halfway up. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Two ladders? Oh yeah, it must be further down. Right, so it goes down to right. We've got two ladders on left. And two boxes on right and a pipe going across. Uh, let's have a look. Well, what's the difference? They're both the same. Oh, you've got to be joking. What's that thing? It's got arrow pointing to it. That like uh, it's rounded at bottom and then like looks like R two R two D two's head upside down. But it's pointing to cupboards on bottom one and it's pointing to wall on the upper one. But I don't even, I don't know what it is. Oh, this is stupid. How am I supposed to know between them two? They're identical. I'm just going to say it's X and C because I, I am messing about I don't think it's it. this one. How can you keep them all straight? So we'll go with X. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Exactly. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? Yes. I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. Oh, there he is. There he is, there he is, there he Why are you just so stood about? We can hear freaking footsteps and growling. Uh, what is it? Or whatever it is. Oh my god. Why are they running away? Oh, 
thought I didn't even see what buttons I was supposed to be pressing then, for fuck's sake. What, so they all run away apart from one? I have to go find her! What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that! I won't leave her to those animals! Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Um... Uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. The big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know, below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I loved the water. I would swim in the ocean so far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere, run in the jungle, climb the trees. These monsters, there was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But... When Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression, so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit, so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. 
I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. Before Injin, and my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, and at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes, it's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name and a good city. Nima, look, I... What is it? I'm sorry about what Injen has done to your island. This isn't the way things should have been done. I don't blame you, Jerry. You're a good person. I see that. But I take my pay from Injen. I owe you something. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Okay. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs <laughs> in the Jurassic period are just like modern birds. Been chewed on that. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. <laughs> that was a coincidence, wasn't it? Taking them right to where they need to go. I wonder if he bombs it back at G. Giving us something back for what's been done to our island. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatchery what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. Imagine that being... That's a lot that of fish. ...being bombed. How many whales are they food. feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks Stuck could feed tank three or that. four orcas per day. Oh, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? 
well, we're in Jurassic Park, mate, but not Sea World. Hold on. But it's, it's got to be some sort of Jurassic fish, hasn't it? You know, like a big frigging whale with twin the on the teeth. <coughs> Crocodile the size of a frigging Empire State Building, sideways. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We well, climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Went for a Luckily, little joy ride. someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Come on, Mr. I refuse Mr. to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this Could isn't a day trip. Himself. If we don't contact Dickhead. Injin and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. Oh, fuck up, Freddy. They can't even That's keep hold of a tin of fucking shaving precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Pacific. Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Oh, he gives a what is Dr. Okay. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is Where she is going? She going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it! Get that elevator back up here! Oh, no, is this where they all turn on each other? You know, instead oh, of working together. a lot of then. progress in construction here. A typical Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Interesting concept. Living fossils. I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. It is a horseshoe crab. <laughs> fauna. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Why? I wonder what, what does all them names mean? I've never understood that. What did they call? What, did, what dictated them names? They're all Vian. Some at Vian. Is it just what someone discovered or whoever frigging so it first named it after them or whatever like it works in space what is that supposed to be i don't know it looks like a mosasaur mosa what it looks kind of scary well it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts you think of a um big moray eel with a crocodile head croco eel great sounds charming yeah don't worry there are no sea creatures on my list of park animals then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. Well, it's obvious to their persona, aren't they? And why would you have a big tank of water like that if there isn't a big friggin' animal in it? It's like a rocking scientist to work it out. How you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. How did you two get here so fast? A tour vehicle picked us up. Great. 
Here I was running for my life in those tunnels, and you two are on a date. A date? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Why? What's he saying as if she's like a monster or something? Give me a break. Why do you have an aquarium here? Can you even clone an ancient fish? Not as far as I know. I don't know of any amphibious mosquitoes. Huh? Well, you remember how the tour explained that we get our dino DNA from fossilized mosquitoes, right? Mosquitoes can't exactly bite an animal that spends its life underwater. Oh, yeah. Well, Good point. They could have bit a beached one. One that, I mean, whales get beached all the time, so why can't a prehistoric animal get beached? And then they would feed on it, so it, 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 impossible. It's just less likely. I, I don't want to do this anymore, Dad. Can't we just wait here for another rescue? That's what we're going to do. But first we have to call for that other rescue. What if it goes just as bad as the first one? Hey, look at me. We'll get through this. What do I always say about the glass of water being half full or half empty, huh? Hey, I ordered, I ordered a, beer. a beer. That's my girl. Dad, I'm so sorry I caused all this trouble. Hey, hey, this isn't your fault. It is! With the smoking, the dinosaurs, the stealing, my grades, I, I don't mean to be such a screw-up all the time. So, Look, being Jess, a team. I know I can come down on you hard sometimes. I just, I feel like I have to cram months of being a dad into the few short days I get with you. But you're an amazing young woman. I'm proud of you, and I just, I don't want you to have to make the same mistakes I've made. Exactly. don't understand that they think you just want to shower them and get them at all time and just be a twat and don't realize you're trying to help them trying to make their life easier I'll be over by the info desk okay yeah dad Information. Information. Sure could use some now. Well, you've come to the right place then, haven't you? Huh. Very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic era as daily key codes. Okay. So the plaque for the Paleozoic era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. What? Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. I ain't got a frigging clue what he's talking about. None of that made any sense at all. Oh good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for 3 seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, that's easy enough. Mm, still haven't got a clue what you're talking about. There's enough here for me to deduce the order, if I can just recall the order of the display. Oh, what is that mnemonic? Um, Camels often sit down carefully, perhaps no, they're camel. yada yada yada. Odd. Okay, Cap. so the plaque for the Paleozoic Cap. era preceded the oldest Cap. period at the Pal. display. Maybe the sequence Cap. doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Odd. Cab. Pal. Today is Saturday. Cap. I Odd. need Friday's code. Cab. Pal. Cam. Odd. Cab, pal, cam, orb, 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 cab, pal, cam, orb. Paleozoic, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian.
Paleozoic, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, so Devonian, Silurian. Carboniferous, Permian. Silurian should be next one then. Silurian. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Oh no. It's in between them two. <sighs> I think it will Permian. Permian sounds right. Okay, best guess. to know the order of the Paleozoic periods, would you? Oh, sure, Jerry. First, second, third, overtime, and penalty shootout. Oh, yeah. Good. I get it. Just hurry up. Are you ordering about you, you little dickhead? Just steady up while you're just sat there folding your arms, you fucking little dunce. Do something yourself, you prick. Am I supposed to to not code? I hope not. Oh. Oh my God! Well, you don't show me two buttons at one thing. I don't know which one's fucking first. Oh, oh! So that's exit then. Oh my god. Oh, I can't remember what am I supposed to remember that? Are you fucking joking me? This is ridiculous. Wait a minute. Talk to her first. Is everything all right between you two? Mind your own business and get the elevator running. I wasn't talking to you. No you more know, fighting. I Things fucking are headbutt him. Who the fuck does he think he's talking to the little freak? Friggin' jumper off because they were overeating. That's another thing with our when I mean, I've been feeling shitty lately. I'm one minute I'm fucking red hot, next minute I'm freezing. I'm almost certain it's this fucking COVID thing because I haven't been right since it. So <clears throat> Can't wait till they find out what's actually what they actually released and why. They're not all friggin' stupid. I need to get the elevator running. I hope they get held accountable for it as well. Right, so is there any type of numbers on these things on board or what? This is my Nine, best two. guess. I'll try it at the elevator. So which code am I using though? Is it the Friday one? This which is my was? best guess. Nine, two, I'll try it at the elevator. Nine, two, five, one. Because I don't even know what day we're on. They're out. Is 
Turn key to input, hold for three seconds, turn to reset, then enter old code followed by a new code. Input, hold, reset, code. Followed by a new code. Oh man, this is ridiculous. You have to be a real lock technician to know what it's fucking talking about. Turn key to input, so hold input. for three seconds, three seconds, turn to reset, then enter reset. old code, followed by a new code. Input, hold, reset, code. Insert, hold, input, code. But what's the code? This is my best guess. I'll try it at the elevator. I don't know which code I'm supposed to be using. I don't even know what day it is and what what code am I supposed to be using? This is my best nine guess. Two, I'll try it at the five, elevator. One. I'll just try 9251. I ain't got a fucking clue what it's asking me to do at all. seconds, then reset, and then put the code on it, so, input, one, two, three, that's it, then reset, nine, two, five, one, all right, new code, let's keep it simple, and fuck for that, didn't explain nothing properly, didn't that, then? <gasps> hey! Don't open that! Are you crazy? Someone will see! Relax. See what? <sighs> Damn it, you careless idiot! Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. Yeah, just you don't say around. that to a fucking kid, you dickhead. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. Oh, I just tell you, Darla cool. is gonna kill her. Thinks he's a gangster. Look at him, how he walks and that. Fucking bell end. Jeez, get over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. You want that much of an asshole at the beginning of the game. Dad, my ear. Attention, What's going yes. on? The Lagoon Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. Wow! It's pretty cold, though. My god. I wasn't expecting any of this. This is so cool! Careful. I'll lead. Hammond. No, 
This can't wait. Can you connect me to Mr. McGuire? Or no, Peter Ludlow. Please hurry. If I no! Look! This is Dr. Laura oh, I have a bad I feeling about this. Park. I am still on the premises. Get me somebody! Well, you'd be alright under there, wouldn't you? Well, saying that. Well, yeah, I think you'd be alright under there. If a nuke went off above. Mr. As long Parker, as it wasn't a direct I do hit. not need rescuing. I do not want the bombing waylaid. I want it stopped. It's not contaminated. This is a wildlife preserve. These animals are not diseased. They are extremely endangered. It's locked from the inside. You're not listening to me! What? Where? Up here. That's what she just said. Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have okay. taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate! What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? Do their rights outweigh any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms. Majestic as they may be, alive as they may be. We brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under reign for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. And we have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. She's an idiot. She's an absolute idiot. Being a scientist like she is, she should understand that if they got into our ecosystem as they are now, they would completely destroy it. And then what? Then no one survives. Stupid idiot. Billy, will InGen stop the bombing? No. Yeah. InGen is not the one dropping bombs, it's the US military. And the contingency is based around a biohazard cover story. She may just be delaying the inevitable. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? What are they saying? Are they going to stop the bombs? Answer then, you silly cow! Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. Okay. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing. But you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? 
Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. She's it's right though. <gasps> She's a stupid cow. How did she ever Plan become B. a frigging scientist? She ain't got a clue. They understand she don't want out to open to dinosaurs. <laughs> but what you kill the rest of the world so dinosaurs can survive. But it's also give them a second chance. <clears throat> Stupid cow. Stand back! That's exactly what I'd be doing as well, even though I can't stand him because he's a bitch. I won't be letting her do that. No chance. Sorry, Jerry. For the sake of this island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. I locked the system down. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to- No, Jerry, this isn't up for debate. We have to show InGen- Look out! Every action has a consequence. That's the consequence of your action, love. Damn it! What were you thinking? All right, everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What you want, and I told you so. Ed butts him straight on freaking vegetables now while he's right call. in your face. Fucking freak. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, the U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team <coughs> killed in action, save one, myself. Bravo team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. 90 minutes. What a Understood, idiot. sir. What's happened? Who did you call? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. Oh, There's you've got to be a tragic joking. accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I I don't understand. You're you're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you. It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. <gasps> You're blowing it. No, you are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! Everyone stay back! I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once I let wait. go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! I'm oh, not giving him a sporting chance, you fucking tool! Selfish little prick. Oh, have you dropped your dinosaur no, thing? What a shame. 
but she nicked them because she's a pickpocket. Oh, it would have to fall and knock him ten out, wouldn't it? What? Again, it didn't give me up to press? Just so I can die at least once, eh? Oh my, so is it that bit then? Fucking ridiculous. Just get on with it, for God's sake. It doesn't help when it's jumping all the time. Oh, come on! It's really starting to piss me off now. It's constantly jumping. It's working on a fucking 3070 Ti. There's no way it's um, bottlenecked by graphics are out. It's just crap because it's uh, beginning because it's an old game. Okay. It stops all the time and stutters and it, when you try when you've only got like a second, not even a second to react, and then it stutters. It's just making what's already an hard situation even harder. Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado, we're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. I'm the dropping a nook in 90 minutes. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh... Doesn't have, doesn't the, have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Well, Why you... is it flooding? You breathe, Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet mm -hmm. with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. <clears throat> we use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look! There's diving here! No, 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 no. We don't know the first what thing about What choice scuba diving. do you have? have? What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. Uh -huh. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. Well, it's coming handy now, so thanks, Steve. I wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Well, let's not find let's out. Let's not eh? find out, Dad. Yeah. Do we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep, and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. 
I'd feel a lot better if you weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to get out of this. Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. Pardon? Nothing. Famous last words of staying here. With no plan at all. At least this plan, you've got a chance. You've got no chance by staying there and just hoping that someone is coming to save you when they're not, clearly. Because for one, they don't know you're still here. And two, it's getting nuked in about 90 minutes. Well, about 85 minutes now. <coughs> so I'd say that's your one and only chance to get out. I'll be right back. We have a feeder program. Ah, yeah, feed it. How should we be? Pool four. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. Well, sort it out then, Jerry. Beep. That ought to keep it busy. What do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you can do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. No, 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 it's okay, hon. No teenager should ever have to go through something like this. But look how far we've come. You've been so incredibly brave. You can do this. I will be with you every step of the way. I just... I just... I don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now, and I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal, duh. <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. I am too, but I know we'll make it with your help. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. You know how many lessons does she have? Sounds a bit advanced to me. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But, it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out, you'll use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. That's it, the suit's mostly automated. <coughs> It'll keep you like buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out, it attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them too, turn around. Let's go. Hey there, little mouse star. Wanna play? Boink, 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 boink. Dandin, 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 dun 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 dun. Oh. Well, he just bring 
fucking di ring dinner bell for Mosey or so. Come on! You see what I mean? It was in the centre then and it wasn't going up at all. Wow. Don't make it impossible, will you? I fucking pressed exactly what it told me to press then. I know for a fact now that every single thing we've come to where you can die, you have to die at least once. Every single one. It's done that. I know for a fact. Well, I bet it does it straight away now. I know for a fact I pressed the right buttons then. 110% without any doubt at all. Because I had the time to do it. Pathetic is that? Oh, what a surprise! Did exactly the same. You fucking. I did press the wrong button then. Instead of pressing the right stick left, I pressed the left one. Because I thought it was going to be the same as the first time. Yeah, but the, like I said, the first go then. Instantly, did it? Come on! between a conger eel and a crocodile, isn't it? But very big. Oh, stalking. Wait till it's a... Now! Go, 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 go! What? Oh. Uh, when am I supposed to go then? I don't get it. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. What? You've got to wait till it's fully faced away to press it. Oh, 
Oh my god. I didn't see the fucking prompt above it. Yeah, I think I can see why this one won't as, uh, as big a name as the others, like Walking Dead and stuff like that. It's clunky. Um, half of the button things you press, it don't recognise them. I don't know how much is that is because of compatibility, though, because it wasn't made for Windows 11. But you don't get any of that with Walking Dead. Or maybe they just got better as they went along, as in programming it. It is a bit infuriating when you've only a second to react and then when you do press the buttons, it don't recognise them. Or you get like a... a, a Look, twi a twitch lighthouse. Or a yes, that must be it. Glitch or whatever it is. Throws you off. Maybe I should have run it in compatibility Wait. mode for I don't see anyone on Windows it. 7. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh, you little well, wanker! Well, well, fortune smiles upon the brave. I fucking hey, hate it. Dad. I thought I'd worked scumbag. everything out and accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then, I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait! Did you? Did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. You don't have a buyer for it, though, you freak. In a bit. Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. You're not getting shit, you little dickhead. You talk too much, Yoder. Are we gonna fight or have boring conversation? Oh, but... Oh, come on. Don't make this easy for me. Come on, Nima. You're a merc, just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? Get on with it, mouthpiece. They are worth more than your pathetic life. I would trade your life even for Oscars. No more talk. Shut up and fight. <laughs> oh, you know these fucking button prompts, man. It fucking gives you one right as he's hitting you. When you're ready, like. Oh, see what I mean? How can I look at fucking four things at once? God, you're, you're just taking the piss now. You really are just taking the fucking piss now. Seriously. I know for a fact it's meant to do it that way. Stupid man, absolutely stupid. It puts four buttons up straight away, and you have to hit all four of them. So you know, you, people do not react that quick. And then when you do press them, it don't register them. When you're ready. Stab him, pick the knife up and run it through his fucking temple. Oh, oh there we go. Is that uh, go on, is this one of them where I can't over? do it? Oh, huh? On the what? first girl, look. That, what's Look at that. that? I can't do it. Why so generous all of a sudden? 
See what I mean? You can never do it on the first fucking go. It just takes the piss. You wanna be the hero? Yes. You wanna break our deal? Do you feel that? Oh my god. Stop! You wanna make new friends? Yoder! And Nima, I don't like you. I'll be glad when this one's over now, to be honest, it's annoying. It's really annoying. I mean, you don't get loads to do in the game anyway, so at least the bits that you do get to do could fucking work. Go on, yo, the move so I can see you to get your precious fucking tin. Fetch boy! Fetch! Well, he has to get in! Yes! Oh, wow, imagine that. <laughs> oh. Quickly, go! Onto the boat, go! Stand there watching him, he's eating him. have to die every time! Fucking hell! I pressed every button, it told me up! You gotta watch it all again! I've done it this time though, like every other time. Right. Oh, what a surprise! Should have fought it. Oh, come on now! 100% press that thing! Fucking joke, man! Oh, but you did it this time.
I didn't realise it said old. There we go. You know, I'm quite glad it's over this now, to be honest. This has really annoyed me as this last we made it. Uh, episode. You what don't get a right lot to do in these games, you know what I mean? It's, it's just button Guys, prompts and stuff. Not me, um, and puzzle not solving. Guys? But when it's Nima, purposely missing the fucking button prompts. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita Guys! money. Money, I bet it's money. How much did you say those embryos were worth? That was the money they brought to buy him, obviously. <laughs> they didn't even need them all that time. <laughs> but we didn't see Ireland get no. Yeah, I'm glad that's over. Um, I mean. As in the story, it was good. It's gonna be in it. It's a collaboration between Telltale and Universal. Um, but the controls in this were shocking, absolutely shocking, and that just rages you. Absolutely rages you when you know for a fact you press the buttons, but it didn't register. I mean, it's hard enough anyway because they are very quick, sudden button prompts. Well, I think it was a mixture of it, like I say, glitching now because it's not compatible with Windows 11, obviously. You could see it kept, like, jumping all the time and glitching and stuff. Um, and I don't know if it were made to be used with a controller because you can't use controller in menu or up like that. So, yeah, I think there's a few reasons what's glitched that, but... I mean, there were odd ones where... I pressed the wrong button, you know what I mean, and completely take ownership for that, I am going to miss some button prompts. But all them where it was just showing a red cross, I actually pressed them. So I think in a lot of cases, when it's a, like a death scene, it makes you die once, just so you can see the death scene. Because then straight away, when you play it again, you do exactly the same thing, and it works every time. Every time. So yeah, just... It wound me up in that last one. I'm glad it's over because the games just get better and better now from now on. These were like the first three that they made were uh, just a little bit glitchy in that because they were the first games and they're the, the, the oldest games, you know what I mean? So obviously. But from my memory, they got better and better now. So I think we are on Walking Dead next, I believe. Which is my all-time favourite. Um, these games are absolutely fantastic. And like I said, uh, Walking Dead is the one that had the most sequels. There were like four or five sequels. So we'll be playing Walking Dead for a bit now. Which I'm completely fine with.
focus testers. Well, that's what I'm on about. That's what the bottom pops are, the focus. They didn't do a right good job, but did the... Like I said, I think when this came out, it was Windows 7, I'm sure it was. Um, so we've had 8.1, 8 10 and 11 since then. Uh, so there's got to be some compatibility conflicts there going on. Which were the whole point of the glitching and like freezing and stuff. Surprised it even worked at all to be honest. Because like that Wallace and Gromit got re-released in 2012, uh, 2020 I think it was. Um, so that's obviously going to have had its uh, compatibility issues rectified. Um, and to the Back to the Future, I can't remember if they did a later release of that, to be honest. Uh, but that seemed to work all right. <coughs> but anyway, as I said, I can't remember 100% definitely, but I think... The Walking Dead is going to be our next game. I'm sure that's number four, Walking Dead. Um, but other than that, anybody that's joined me, I hope you enjoyed the game and thank you very much for watching. For anybody that watches it at a later date as a pre-recorded video on the Immersion Gaming Facebook page, again, thank you very much. It makes no difference whether you watched it live or whether you watch it as a pre-recorded video. Watching it is watching it and it's all appreciated. So, thank you very much. I do appreciate you guys. But other than that, as I said, next video you'll see will be the trailer for the fourth game in the Telltale Marathon, which I believe is Walking Dead. So, thanks a lot. Take care of your sins, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.